Okay, um, I'm in a bit of trouble because I just finished half of one row of the vineyard and I've filled up this five gallon bucket with grapes. So, not sure how much I'm gonna end up with, but the plan was to, because um, I'm traveling on the 18th, was to um, crush and destem, which I can do here in the garage and then uh, freeze it. So there may, may not be enough room in my freezer for all of the grapes, grape juice or grape must, but we'll see. Palapalooza, big harvest this year. Um, okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take these grapes and crush and destem them. And when that's done, I'm gonna pour the must which is what uh, crushed grapes is called, into this six gallon fermenter. And if I need more space, I'll use one of these buckets to put must into it. Um, and here's the crushing and destemming um, technique I used last year, and I got this from the internet. But basically you put a put a bunch of grapes on there and you rub it and the grapes fall through and the stems come off and you discard the stems. And that's basically it. When it's, when it's all crushed and destemmed, I'll put a little bit of sulfide in it to kill the wild yeast because I'm gonna use a, um, you know, a specialized yeast um, for winemaking when I ferment it. When I get back from my trip in, in October. All right, I've um, destemmed all of the grapes and um, not sure how much I have there, probably somewhere around five or six gallons. Um, after destemming, I went through and crushed it by hand a little bit, you know, just mashed the grapes up. And I used um, this masher here um, to mash the grapes. And I took a bricks reading and it was 21, which is not bad, it's pretty good. I, I may not have to add any um, sugar at all to this uh, uh, must. So anyway, um, I, I'm about to pour this into the fermenter and see what we end up with. Okay, um, I fill, fill this, not quite to the top, this uh, six gallon fermenter, and this two gallon bucket has, I don't know, one and a half gallons in it. And um, now I'm gonna take them down into the basement and let them sit overnight to let the, um, oh, I forgot to tell you, I put a quarter or half a teaspoon of potassium metas bisulfate in the wine um, to kill the wild yeast. And then tomorrow I'll put them into the freezer. And when I get back into town in October, I'll uh, thaw it out and ferment it. All right, signing out.